Well met, techno nerds. I'm Lax Dragon, and today we are going to check out Witcher 3 on the Apple M1 using Code Weaver's crossover. <laughs> Watch it, you clown. Both forces attacked. One from either side. Cap yeah, the frame rate's not super great, but it still looks good. And it's been pretty stable for me. I played through the whole introductory sequence and didn't have any crashes or anything. Oh, there's a little frame hitch. And yeah, once again, the Steam overlay doesn't work in this game either. I could not get the frame rate rate, the frame rate counter to come up. As I as I look around, you can see it jerking a bit. I think it's you know limitations of this low end GPU as well as you know rendering bugs inside of Wine itself. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something Yeah, the cutscenes seem to run her pretty nicely. No issues there. I mean, you might see a dropped frame or two. More combat this time outside the bar. Oh! Slashy, slashy. Uh, the frame rate is just not high enough for this to be playful. Oh, decapitation. Brutal. Anyway, I want to keep this video short, so I'm not going to play it too much longer, but here I'm just going to pan around a bit. You can see I'm trying to move the mouse uh, smoothly, but the frame rate is just hitching a bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed The Witcher 3, another janky game. No, it's an excellent game. It's not janky. It just runs janky. But still, this little M1 does impress. I gotta say. Until next time, bye!